Is it recording? Yes. Yeah, hey guys. And I'm not 100% sure I have a lot of battery, so that's why I was like, if you can just scooch out of the screen. <laughs> I mean, or you can be in the screen, but just let me like, open the box. Alright guys, so a boring day. Well, not really a boring day. We still don't have water right now. I got my every plate today. Ordered it. And when I say my every plate, it actually is my every plate. Me <laughs> too. So basically what my plan was, I've really struggled with getting this in a way to where my family likes it or that it's still kind of affordable. And we've talked a few times about how I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier and a little bit cleaner. And so I'm just gonna be an inspiration to my family. Basically, my thought process is, if I can prep my dinners, like maybe healthier dinners ahead of time, then it won't seem like I'm cooking two dinners at a time. So my plan was maybe once a week or twice a week if I feel like it, as I'm preparing dinner for them, I would also prepare my dinner, but maybe do it like I don't know, I guess you say like double the servings or something like that and then put them in, um, my mind went blank, the meal, the meal prep containers, which you can use, you don't have to use the actual meal, meal prep containers, you can use Tupperware, which I've used in the past, I think this time I just went ahead and just went for it and I bought it because in my head if I'm investing in it, I think I'll do a little bit better, which is another reason why I'm doing every plate. My sister um, started doing every plate too, and I'll make sure y'all can see me, and she kind of re-inspired me to get back into it and to do it again. Let's see what we got. So she kind of re-inspired me to get back into every plate and I don't really know what these are. This looks like free boxes. So I'll have to look into this. Maybe this is something I can help you guys with. Um, I'm obviously new to the channel. Uh, I mean, I'm not new to my channel, but I'm obviously new to YouTube right now. So right now, as you're watching this video, I'm probably just trying to get views and I'm not uh, making money or anything. Like I'm totally new at this right now. So I don't, I'm not real familiar with offering codes or anything just yet, but hopefully that'll be something I can do in the future. So what I got this time is charred zucchini and tomato melts, pub style turkey burgers, because I, I, would, I would love to try a good turkey burger, and then sweet potato and pepper quesadillas. That meal right there, I'm actually hoping that my family would try too. Uh, it's one of those ones, like even though it's only serving two, I think there might be a way for me to... Um, serve serve more so that's what, what i'm hoping for Let's see what we got. as you can see it's it's well insulated they do pack it very well that's something that i've noticed in the past and i love the smell of the box even my daughter talks about how good it smells whenever um you first open the box and everything feels cold so i think it's good there we've got um i'll go through everything kind of piece by piece so that we can See what all we got and look at some of the produce and stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, it's a little bit, not. I don't like to say I'm out of my comfort zone because I really like to cook. I'm not really afraid to try new things. So, especially since it's just for me, I'm willing to try different things like spicy foods or peppers or different vegetables and stuff like that. And these are the ice packs. Now, I can't tell. They're still frozen, though. I can fill a frozen piece in there. So, that's a good thing because this is where the meat is because this is my ground turkey. And that'll be for my ground um, turkey burger. And it's a little, little. it's not frozen anymore. It's just really cold. And that's the only thing that I actually had meat-wise in here. And then that's the Dijon mustard. Now, I can tell that it was melty a little bit. But it's been kind of warm in my area for the past couple days. So, we'll kind of just put that out of the way for now. So, a lot of times you can just match up the plates. Uh, something else I do like about every plate. I have not tried any of the other at-home uh, meal meal dinner kits that they have, but I know that I've seen them on like fellow people, fellow YouTubers and influencers and stuff get them all the time. And they look, they look amazing, but they do have a lot of packaging when it comes to it. Now, some people might like that because everything's together. I actually kind of find it neat that every plate does not use a lot of the packaging. And so far, every plate has been one of the cheaper versions of this that I have found. And even though, the only, the only con I will say that I have noticed is sometimes the variety in like side dishes and stuff is not really there. But if you're like my family and I struggle with finding side dishes anyway, it's still better than like what I would come up with on my own. So this is kind of give you an idea. Like this is the, cause what, I already forgot what I got now. <laughs> um, potato buns, panini slides, panini slides. Um, Okay, so right off the bat, oh, and I see them now. Okay, so they actually did give me two, because it says sour, because so, it's for two, so you can get it like for two or four. And so I did actually get um, the sour, this is the bread for the charred zucchini melts. So we're looking for that, and then you've got, um, here is the quesadillas, that, that is a huge, 
huge quesadilla. Now, I don't know, and they're flowers, so they are flowered. Now, that is another thing I've noticed about every plate, but it is on, it is cheaper, so it's more affordable. Um, when it comes to your specific diet, you just kind of have to go in there and look and see what they're sending you. So if you're somebody who's gluten-free or needs to find something specific, you're going to have to really go in there and look and see what they're going to send you. As far as I've seen so far, there's not you can't substitute like for a gluten-free. They do offer meals now where you can swap out the proteins, or you can even add protein to like a vegetarian dish if you choose to. But um, those are the quesadillas for that one. And, of course, the ground turkey, which I'm going to keep that on the ice pack, though. But it actually looks, um, it looks pretty good, though. Uh, it doesn't, and there's no funny smell or anything. I don't know if that's something that people would um, actually worry about. But we've got some, the Dijon mustard. This is how some of this stuff comes. And that actually goes with my turkey burger. Chipotle powder. I'm not sure which one that goes from. They, they send you little mayonnaise. They pretty much, it's Italian seasoning. Uh... I think it's a fry seasoning. This is really good. I have gotten it with other recipes with every plate, and it includes uh, garlic, onion, and paprika, and that's what they call fry seasoning. And another little thing of mayonnaise. Uh, two packets of the cheddar cheese, which I'm assuming goes with, yes, shredded cheddar goes with our quesadilla. I was kind of trying to keep track of that, but uh, Mon Monterey Jack, and I was wanting to see which one. That one, yes, that one goes with the charred, um, zucchini melts and then here here we go now i will say sometimes the produce i haven't been thrilled with but not enough to not order from them anymore like here's our pepper and that's going to come with that's a long pepper that smells good though and it looks good but it, it looks like it has had a little bit of a rough ride but i'm just going to wash this up really good and they try to keep all that stuff in this box so it does stay together on the top and i don't feel like it's going to be any more handled than going to the grocery store and buying vegetables there and then here's my zucchini and, I, and something else I wanted to say really quickly about that is the zucchinis, I feel like, need to be eaten within that week. I, I don't know when it's when they pick them or how they store them, but I feel like about every time I get zucchinis, if I don't eat them right away, they tend to go bad in my refrigerator pretty quickly. Uh, two onions. And that's, I'd say I think that's going to go with your, um, the pub style turkey burger. And then over here with the quesadilla. And, and I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times when it comes to the produce, they're going to send you more than what you need. They usually always send... A full onion and they usually will send yeah here we go a full head of garlic too so if you don't use all of it you get to keep this and you can use it for something else which I think is kind of cool oh and I actually they sent this is good mozzarella I love that like it's even in the good pack and everything and that's gonna go with my zucchini melt um, and then here's the sour cream so when I like these recipes on my own if it's a recipe that I really liked and I will try to recreate it and I'm always trying to kind of guess like about how much sour cream and stuff because they'll send it like this like if you go to a cafeteria and you see their sour cream packs or their cream cheese packs and stuff like that that's what you're going to get here and so I've always kind of assumed it's like two tablespoons but you know I never thought that I could look at the serving size and see if it actually says anything on it does it say serving size no, it actually don't. But that would be a neat way to look at it. If you could do that, then you would actually know what was all in there. Um, and then here is my sweet potato. And this is going to go, because this is a sweet potato and pepper quesadilla. That looks good. Uh, my tomatoes, and they actually look pretty good. They actually look really good this time. I have sometimes gotten my tomatoes, and I haven't been real happy with them. Um, a lime. Oh, and a jalapeno. <laughs> Which I have never actually used a jalapeno before, but I'm kind of, I love stuffed jalapenos. Love it. Love you too, bud. What are you doing? Been outside. It's actually been a beautiful day today, so we've been outside on an awful day. So we got the jalapeno, the lime, and these are my potato buns. Love these you. potato buns, love you too, buddy, are going to be as my pub style turkey burger. And I'm going to give you all a good close up of all of my stuff too, so you can see it. And then I'm going to leave these in here, but here's all my potatoes. A lot of nice little baby potatoes. And those are going to go with my. Um, it looks like these. Oh, these are the side. For the charred zucchini and tomato melts with fresh mozzarella and potato wedges. And then also the pup style burger. They also got the Yukon um, gold potatoes because it's all. So yeah, I have two sides of that. So there's plenty of those. And they actually look really good too. Oh, yeah. Love you too, bud. Because um, you know that with the potatoes, the yellow ones are a little bit. Um, I don't know how to say this. Like richer or softer. But I always feel like it's a special occasion if I use these type of potatoes. So I guess it's going to be a special occasion for me. But I'm really excited to try these. When it comes to these, just my advice on it, like for my pub style turkey burger, 
it's got the potatoes in it which i feel like i can store and i think they're an easy easy meal fix for myself and for anybody else i do own an air fryer and i've really enjoyed uh frying up my potatoes in it rather than putting them in the oven and i'm pretty sure yeah so like this they actually have you put them in the oven if you follow the recipe on it but i will probably put them in my air fryer because it'll be quicker for me and it's more than likely this will be like my meal but i i would go ahead and make up both uh patties because it's supposed to be for two patties and depending on if i think i'm going to eat it that week or not i will put one in the fridge and i will fix one for myself or i might even freeze one and then make it later but usually if i freeze them this is that part where i have to think about that one for a turkey burger because i'm not real familiar with it that one might be a little bit of an experiment unless you guys have have some advice for me if i should cook that or just go ahead and refreeze it and then cook it later I'm a big freezing person and so far about everything knock on wood that I've frozen has worked out pretty pretty good. So that's I'm anxious to try that because I'm trying to get away from the red meat just a little bit. I know we all like our red meat but just some of the diets that I'm trying to follow like the Mediterranean diet or um, obviously a vegan diet but I'm not I'm, I'm not going to be a straight vegan person because I just don't think I think I don't know if I could do that like I think it's an amazing diet if you could do it but I don't know if I am that disciplined to do a diet like that. But as I'm getting older, I know that the protein when it comes to meat is not as, it's not supposed to be as significant for your diet. And so I'm trying to find different proteins. I think we get kind of tired of pork and chicken and because they want you to stick to more leaner, leaner proteins and stuff. And I love chicken, but you just get kind of tired of it after a while. Um, for the charred zucchini and tomato melt, that one's going to be an easy one to do because it's just going to be pretty much um, a prep thing. And I'll just kind of try to pre-plan that one. Um, that one's kind of neat. So I don't know how easy some of these are going to be to prep. I probably didn't think that through very well. But I, I'm, I, I guess what it'll just come down to it will just be um, when I do that. Because these things will last too. I have to give that credit too. Other than the zucchini. You heard me already say that about the zucchini. So I might have to figure that one out. Unless one of my family wants to try it. Then I'm more than happy to fix them one. And then of course the sweet potato and pepper, pepper quesadillas. I feel like that one's going to be a meal that we're all going to try. So I will end up doing um, both of those. I think they gave me... Yeah. How many did they give me of those? Well, they only gave me two. But I guess that's how that works. And then, because that's quite a bit. I mean, if you can see, that's kind of hard as a as a perspective here. That's, that's, that's pretty big. I mean, that's going to give you quite a bit. I mean, and there's no side with this one. Because with fresh salsa and chipotle sour cream. So I guess we're going to get to make a little bit of a salsa to you. Which is one thing I really like because it really does teach us oh, different. Yeah. Love you too, buddy. One thing I really like about it because it does teach us different methods of cooking. I have really learned some ways to cook. Even though I really do like to cook, I've kept it very simple. But with this, it kind of, I feel fancy. You know, when you're doing it, you just, you feel like you're, you're fancy cooking. Even though, you know, maybe you don't think it's that fancy. But I think it's kind of a fancy cooking. And again, they're going to put this um, in the oven. Which I may try this one. This one I may, I may try in the oven. Um, we will see. Like I said, I'm going to make these with you. So you're going to get to see me do this and then we'll kind of maybe follow it in a blog on if I end up actually prepping it for a future lunch or if we end up eating it. And that would be fine with me because it gives me something new. I mean, if they end up liking the charred zucchini and tomato melt, that is such an easy dinner or lunch to put together on a regular basis. I mean, it's just got the zucchini, the tomato, and then you get your cheeses. That's an easy thing to fix and something that's easy and is in is, is in your pantry i mean that's something that can definitely do that but i can't wait to take you along with me on this i'm gonna make my easy plate i'm sorry my every plate i do that all the time oh look at my wonderful i still not used to my glasses anyway um so i'm gonna make my every plate uh the pub style turkey burgers with caramelized onion special sauce and potato wedges so i've decided that i'm going to share the potato wedges with everybody because i had another meal the charred zucchini tomato melts also have potato wedges with them. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of my potatoes and this, we all can have french fries with our burgers tonight, but I'm not going to make, I'm not going to make this yet. I'm actually pretty excited about this one too. I think it's more of a lunch thing or like a light dinner uh, possibility because, oh, excuse me, I garden and I'm planning on growing tomatoes and zucchini and squash and stuff like that. So I'm anxious to see if I like this because if I do, it's something I could do during the summer with my um, with my fresh 
with my fresh garden stuff and everything. So tonight we're gonna make turkey burgers along with the regular burgers. And yeah, I know my head's kind of cut off there a little bit. Uh, just see if it's really good. My sister actually ordered the same meal this week, this week, and which I thought was really cool. And she was going on and on last night about how good it is. So let's get to cooking and see what we think about everything. Cool. Just that little corner right off too. And I'm just gonna swoop everything off to the side and then I'll gather it all up and put it in my compost pile. So according to this, you gotta caramelize them um, with some sugar in a saucepan and they're gonna go on top of uh, my burgers. So maybe I will actually find some sand. So I'm gonna try to do very thin. I'm not an expert at this and I may not be cutting this the way that you all would cut it, but just, I'm learning as I'm doing this, I love to cook. And one thing about every plate is it's really teaching me different techniques that I really didn't, I really didn't know. And so it's been, it's been really fun to kind of do that. So when I get to this point, I just kind of do a little thicker like that. And then I'm gonna, cause I want it all to cook. So I'm trying to keep everything about the same, the same thing. So that's, this is what mine looks like. That's what I'm gonna go with. Ooh, this is a strong onion. Oh, it's starting to get me. Okay, so let me grab a bowl. And I don't really like dirtying up too many dishes, but I think I'm just gonna have to so that I can stay prepared with everything. So there's all my onions that I'm going to that I'm gonna use for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them to the side. Close off. There we go. Uh, that's a pretty big clove right there. So this will be. I don't like to take too much of the skin off because I feel like it keeps it fresh. So there's one clove and two cloves. And I feel like my big garlic lovers are probably sitting there thinking, um, goodness grief girl, get some more garlic. <laughs> but this is what I'm gonna do. Probably because I'm gonna try to actually get my family to eat it too. And so I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. Now everybody has their own techniques for doing this. Um, I've done it a few different ways. I've used the knife and I've kind of smashed it down. But then um, I think it was Frugal Fit Mom. I love to watch her on YouTube. That showed you like squeezing it. And then you can kind of grab the peel. And peel it off. And I kind of like doing that too. Mainly because I'm teaching my kids how to cook. And I just feel like that's a little bit safer for them to do it. Same thing. Just kind of squeeze it a little bit. And when you squeeze it, that skin kind of pops up. And then you're able to grab it and you can go ahead and peel it off. And it's worked pretty good about every time I've done it. Um, I haven't gotten a stubborn one yet. Doesn't mean they don't exist. Which I feel like that's what's happening with this one. I just kinda. Cause you're kinda doing the same thing but you're not smashing it to, see there you go. Now it's coming right off. I thought for a minute that one was gonna give me problems. A few little bad places in that piece of garlic. I'll have to trim that off. But it says for, um, I think to finally chop this. So, I mean, if you're someone who has um, a grater or a, um, a press. I mean, I don't see why you can't use that. I'm not going to drag mine out. I do have a press. Um, I have, I have like a little grater that I got from Dollar Tree that reminds me of a microplane that I've been going to try to see if that would work before I go invest in too much money and buy another one. So that's just what I'm going to do. And like I said, there's a few little bad places on this piece of garlic. You can probably see that. Oh, losing some of my garlic here. There we go. So we'll just kind of trim that up. I need to do some of the patties. So I've turned on this to get it going. And heating oil of your choice. I prefer um, extra virgin olive oil. I do have Kroger brand, but any brand should be fine. Um, I am going to kind of guesstimate about how much it is. This will not take long to get going. And then I'll start doing the onions. Um, with it and with it I'm going to have to do it will do onions a pinch of salt and pepper and I'm going to cook those for eight to ten minutes basically until they start getting um, I guess golden or soft and then I'm going to put in um, the, the sugar which is a teaspoon of sugar and then a fourth cup of water so I'm going to go ahead and grab that too because um, you're probably going to hear me in the background again with the water we're under the bowl of water advisory so we have all of our water in jugs right now so I'm going to go ahead and get that going it's so easy to get a little bit behind on this. Staying prepared and keeping everything going is the best way to do. Um, you're gonna notice that I have what I like to call a vintage, a very vintage stove. So don't mind the mess. I clean it all the time, but there's so many nooks and crannies in it that things tend to fall in it all the time. It kind of aggravates me a little bit. Um, the potato wedges, like I said, I'm actually gonna wait on those a little bit. I will probably go ahead and be making 
um, the burgers up before I honestly do that because I'm going to put all the burgers on the grill. Um, that's something I'm going to do. So I'm getting that heated so we can get going with that. And then I'm going to get another bowl out and start, um, I'm just going to kind of show you. I hope you can see it. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do the mayonnaise and stuff too. So we're going to do this and get this going because this is going to take a minute to do and everything else um, shouldn't take too long to do. I guess for the mayonnaise, um, I think it's just mayonnaise and the Dijon mustard is going to go together and then half the fry seasoning will go into potatoes. So I have to remember that. Um, and the butter and stuff. Okay, I'm just trying to remember where everything goes. And then the ketchup, I have to grab my ketchup. The one thing I did not do, and like I said, this is this is definitely a blooper that you've got to do, is you've got to have everything out, even the stuff that um, they don't provide. And sometimes I forget that, to be honest with you. And I'm going to need, how much ketchup am I going to need? About a tablespoon of ketchup, and I will probably add that. I've got the butter out and everything. Brianna walking through the kitchen, looking at me like I'm crazy. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, now this feels hot enough to me, so I'm gonna go, I got a little bit of onion skin in my onion. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Get that. Oh yeah, I love that sound. Who doesn't love that sound? And I suppose I don't have to dirty it dish because I'm totally gonna make that in this. And then I'm gonna get my, a good wooden spoon. Probably doesn't really matter. Get that kind of going. I'm gonna turn my heat down. I will probably be speeding this up because I don't think everybody actually wants to watch me do every single potato that I have in here. But just as a little side note, it's really funny to do this while you're filming because I have to watch the camera to make sure it stays in focus. <laughs> it's crazy how this camera will automatically focus on weird things in the background and then I will look and it's been blurry the whole time. It's something I've learned. Um, you're gonna see this video and what's gonna make you laugh, hopefully, haha, -ha, is I've been videoing since December. Uh, this camera was a Christmas present from RJ uh, because I've been saying that I've been wanting to do this for a while and I told him I really wanted to do it and if I had the right camera I would give it a shot and so he went and got it for me. Um, he knows I love cameras. You know I, I used to do photography all the time now I only do it every now and again and so it, it feels pretty good that he believes in me so I'm kind of excited to get going with this and to show that I can do it. Now it's kind of, it's time to start cooking. I'm actually not going to do, I'm going to pick you up a little bit. So I'm not going to put the potato wedges in just yet. I'm assuming they're not frozen or anything. So I think they will take probably about 25 minutes if I lower the temperature on my air fryer a little bit. Um, those who are air fryer experts might have something to say about it. And please give me comments and advice. Tell me what I've done wrong or what I'm doing right. Because I am kind of like learning how to do a lot of this stuff. But I love the air fryer. I love the Instapot. Love every plate. Like I've loved all these different shortcuts that I'm able to do. So let's get to cooking. I'm going to start preparing some of the stuff and start cooking things and start patting out all the patties. I'm still doing beef patties for my family, so I have to do that too. Um, the mayonnaise and the Dijon mustard together, and something else I do all the time is I keep losing my recipe. So we're going to do uh, mayonnaise, mustard, and a pinch of the garlic and a tablespoon of ketchup. So we're going to actually do all of that into this bowl. So I've got my ketchup, the mayonnaise they provided, the Dijon mustard they provided, and then of course I've got my minced garlic over here. And that's what that's gonna do. And I'm trying to, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna show you what happens with it. I sometimes wonder if my camera will like start to smell like some of these ingredients. But I've got it all mixed in. And you know, something I absolutely love about every plate is the salsas. Uh, we've done like steaks and chickens and stuff and I just love the salsas like this is like a special mayonnaise that will go onto the pub burger and it smells so good I can't wait to try it so there is a special sauce that we're going to use for that and I'm going to bring you back over here so we can finish up these onions make sure you're nice and secure so you don't fall down so there we go so as you can see this has not been very long so I'm just kind of watching it and if you deal with this too, give me a thumbs up, but I have to really watch when it comes to my onions and stuff. Anything I cook has like warm spots and hot spots on the plate. And so that's something I have to deal with just a little bit with this. And I forgot to add a little bit of salt. I like to use Himalayan pink salt. They recommend kosher salt, 
But again, I'm gonna say use what you have. I don't think it's a really big deal. So just a little bit there. Because we're gonna add, don't forget, we're gonna add the sugar and the water to this as it's doing that. And I think so you can kind of see what I'm doing with my um, ground beef. I'm just gonna kind of do it in the background. Um, when you do mix it, it's not just patting out the ground turkey. You're going to mix some stuff in it. And according to this, I'm going to take the ground turkey. I'm in a medium bowl. I'm going to combine it, the garlic, and the remaining fry seasoning. So I got to look back because I'm supposed to put fry seasoning half. So half the fry seasoning will go in that with a little bit of salt and pepper. And you're going to mix that and you're going to form that into patties. So I would like to share that with you too. So I'm just going to move you all over here so we can kind of do this together. And I'm going to sit here and really hope that uh, my flabby alarms don't get in the way. Because I've done this before and I was so embarrassed because <laughs> my flabby arm was in the way. And don't get me wrong. I don't think I my, my arm's not too flabby. But uh, <laughs> let's just say, you know they talk about things being on camera and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it added 10, 10 pounds to my flabby arm because it was awful. I didn't even show it. Like I said, I've been practicing videoing for a while since I got this. All right. Well, I don't think anything is that appetizing when it comes out of the container to you. But definitely good to go. Good and fresh. Over here washing hands and sanitizing because like I said, water dealing with all of that. So washing hands, hand sanitizer, keep everything clean, clean, clean. Oh, those onions smell so good, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching my time, and I'm realizing I'm going to have to get going with this, because we have to leave the house not that long from now. So this is going to be, but I'm, I'm hungry. I kind of sort of skipped lunch without me and you. Okay, so what we're adding is the rest of the garlic to this, which I love garlic in, in my food and stuff, so I'm excited about that. And then I haven't done the potatoes yet. So half of this. So we'll just kind of, and the way I do it, if you want to measure it out, I mean, I would say there's probably, um, I don't know, maybe two tablespoons, something like that. Kind of eye it. I really like it for my uh, potatoes, so I don't want to use all of it. And then what else do I need to add to this? A little bit of salt and pepper, which most of us do that with our meats and chickens and stuff anyway season as you go as they say layer layer sitting i feel like i'm doing it again and i'm determined that even if it shows my flabby old arms i will definitely do this anyway and the best way to do that is just to get on in there so we'll kind of see there it is so now i'm going to kind of get in there and get it all mixed up and don't worry i'm not forgetting about my onions over here I feel like people are screaming, you're burning it. Okay, so I'm just going to get in here and do this. Because this is, to me, this is just the best way. It may seem gross. Uh, you can definitely wear plastic gloves, which I do have. And I have a feeling I really wish I had wore those. Because apparently ground turkey is very sticky. I've not really messed with ground turkey very much. This is my first time really doing anything with it. I mean, I guess ever. I mean, I don't think I've, I've ate it. Um, I've had people prepare it for me. And I've ate it at their house, but it's been a really long time. I'm actually was sitting here trying to think about when I would have had it. Do you want to mix it up pretty good? Um, this is not beef, so I don't think it's going to change the texture too much because it's lean. Um, I know they say not to overwork uh, burger and stuff because it can make kind of, it can toughen it, I guess, which I didn't know that. This is something I recently heard. And then I'm just going to try my best to kind of do two even... I can tell that was a little bigger than this one. And I guess just kind of, that, that looks pretty good to me. Patty that out a little bit. I should have done a plate, which I didn't. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I can tell by even looking at this though, that this is not going to take very long to cook on the grill. But I guess the onions and stuff is a good replacement for cheese. I think this is supposed to be like a healthier, a healthier, and I am going to, I wasn't going to make, I'm washing my hands. I wasn't going to make both of them, but now I am, and I'm going to see if my family would try one. I haven't, but if I really like it, I might just, you know, save it for later and put it in the fridge and have it up later. It's like burger. Anybody else ever do that with hamburgers? 
They're not as good that way, but I mean, you know. It is what it is. And that way you don't waste your food. So those are ready to go. These onions have been cooking for a while. I'm seeing a, a good bit of brown on them. Yeah, so as this done, so I've got that good to go. So you can kind of see that. Those are good. Yeah, I mean, you can see those little specks of garlic in there. I am actually going to grab out the beef for the rest of the burgers. Now, I'm just going to patty that out over here. It's nothing special. It's just, we, we actually did buy a cow from a friend. And so, like, it's in this. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of slice it out and kind of form it into as many patties as we need. Wow, this is still cooking because like I said I really want us all to I want us all to be done together and that's that's getting there I don't know I'm, I'm at a point where it's like almost there like almost there you know how that feels like we're just like almost there but you're not quite not quite trusting it just yet the grill here shortly I don't know if I'm going to show you all my grill I'm just going to be honest with you my grill is filthy it needs cleaned so bad and oh it looks like my battery's down but you're not going to believe this everybody's going to be so proud of me at this point I have more batteries now so just because my battery's dying doesn't mean you don't get to finish watching me. <laughs> I have done these before and I have raced that battery clock. Okay, so now that it's good, I'm going to put in the sugar. And I'm going to pour in the water. Okay. And now this is the part where it says we're going to get caramelized and jammy. That's how they said it. Caramelized and jammy. So we're going to do this for a little bit and hopefully I have enough onions. I did not, I mean to me that's plenty for two burgers in my opinion. So again that's going to have to cook for a little bit. And then at this point we're ready to cook up all the burgers and everything. So that's what we'll probably do next and I'll throw those uh, potato wedges in. The air fryer, I'll show you how I'm going to prepare those. I'm going to clean up everything a little bit. Here's my, I guess I could show you all that. There's my other burgers for the family. And I did four out of potatoes. And I'm just, I'm trying to do this one handed. So forgive me if it's like I'm putting way too much. Uh, love that water. Thumbs up if you do too. Uh, here's the rest of my fry seasoning. Now again, depending on the order, technically, you should have already done this. And it should be roasting in your oven. But again, I'm doing things a little differently. And then I take my hand, and again, you wear gloves if you don't like washing your hands a billion times. Which today, I just didn't think this through. Uh, some people might be screaming at me, don't do this, don't put oil in it, You've, you're in an air fryer. But people do it, and it, it actually works really well. I've, I've been doing it with other things. It gets a little dirtier, so you do need to clean it more often. That's, that's my only advice with it. Um, I use extra virgin olive oil. I mean, I'm assuming you can use whatever kind of oil you want. But that's what I use. And I love this fry seasoning. So this is going to be really, really yummy. So these are going to go in the hair fryer. And right now I have it. I'm trying to touch my. I'm going to put it at 360. And I'm probably going to set it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Because it's going to have to preheat too for a while too. And then I will shake it halfway between. Hey guys, so just to keep you up to date. I have taken the onions off. Um, I do feel like they have caramelized. I don't really know what they mean by Jamie. It says to take it off the heat and put um, your two tablespoons of butter in it. So we're waiting for that to melt up a little bit. That makes that nice and rich and yummy. And since I had a half an onion left, I decided to just chop that up. And I will freeze this. Um, I do this all the time. It works great in recipes whenever something calls for a chopped onion. This is about a half of an onion. Uh, I don't usually measure too much when I do onions anyway. I don't think many people do. So it's just a great, great way to uh, not waste your food. Some advice for you. I never would just show you exactly how dirty my grill is. I've already got the turkey burgers on the grill. And I always use these copper mats. I love them. They work really, really well for us. And then I'll throw our burgers on here shortly. Something kind of funny that I realized was the two tablespoons of butter. One was for the onion and one was the butter, the bun. I think they actually look pretty good. Um, again, I put mine on the grill. Now, according to the every plate, you just you'd wipe out your onion pan and you'd just cook them in whatever pan you use. Now, this is the yummy special sauce. I'm gonna see how well I can do. One-handed, and again, this is gonna be your preference. 
on how much you're gonna want. I think it tastes like really good though, so. All right, and then we're gonna travel. Travel, 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 travel. I'm really bad about putting my hand over the microphone. Probably not for what I'm making, but yours is on the grill. This is a turkey burger. It's recording. I'll put the music in there. Yeah, but that is a turkey. And I also made, and these are all done too, potato wedges. They look so good. They look really good. I think they're like, they're like homemade potato wedges. Because I guess potato wedges are sweet potatoes, right? These are Yukon. That would be our thing. Really good. <laughs> you go try one? Mm. Oh my gosh, they're really good. Uh -uh. That's like one of the best burgers I've ever had. No, they ain't. Yeah, ours is not really into different stuff. Which would be why one of the themes of my whole channel is cooking for yourself healthy when your family won't. Okay, so this is the completed meal. I think it came out fan absolute tastic. From, let me get in focus. There you go. For me personally, I will definitely be making these for myself again. Um, I think that they're really, really good, and I think it'd be easy to copycat this. It was essentially ground turkey, um, the fresh garlic, and then the fry seasoning, which I think I read the back of the fry seasoning. It's like three. It's like paprika, garlic, and I forgot what the other thing was. And then this front, I put it on the potato bun. It was really really good so i highly recommend it definitely a big thumbs up for me i'll see if my family will try it i highly doubt that they will i might try to figure out a way if i can save the other one for lunch for another day the potato wedges are really good too which i guess technically they're not really potato wedges because i'm trying to think how that is but it's the yukon with the fry in the air fryer and i definitely recommend that it was a lot quicker for me and i'm really bad about burning stuff when i roast it and i'm better um i'm better in the air fryer so definitely a thumbs up for this one